Okay, hi, it's Dr. Buford. I need the rasp. We're just getting started on your right shoulder. We're looking in from the front to the back, actually. So this blue cannula you see is coming in the back of your shoulder. We examined your shoulder before we started, and we found that there was some laxity. Um, I couldn't get you to stay dislocated, but there's absolutely some laxity, and that's why we're here. This instrument is called a rasp. You can see it's got these sharp points on it. And we're going to use this. Hold this for a second, please. We're going to use this to just gently abrade this posterior band of the inferior glenohumeral ligament right in this region here. We're going to use a suture anchor that's called the Why Not Suture Anchor, the 1.3 millimeter Why Not Suture Anchor. It's a single loaded suture anchor that we're going to place percutaneously into the glenoid right about here, and that's going to help us tighten up this posterior band of the inferior glenohumeral ligament right here. With this rasp, we're just trying to create a, a little bit of an insult to create a healing response. Now we'll take a spinal needle. And we're going to check our angle here. So you can see, it looks like we can get a pretty good angle down into the bone right there. And so we'll get to work on that in just a second. Pause. Pause recording. Okay, Okay. so we are showing you now that we've got a guide in position. We're going to go ahead and drill. All the way down into the bone there. And then into that hole, we're going to place a suture anchor. And once it's down, we can unload it. And there you can see two sutures coming off of the anchor. We'll pull back on the sutures to seat it. And that now feels very solid. So we're going to take one suture out of the front, a pincher tool if you have it. Let me see this for a second. So we'll take a pincher tool. We're going to grab one of the sutures here. That should be enough. And then we're going to come in from the left side of the screen, which is actually the front of your shoulder. We'll retrieve that one suture. We'll check and make sure that our cannula is in good position. There it is there. OK. And now we're going to take a grasper in the back. Pause recording. OK, and so now we've got our suture hook in position. Again, this is the posterior band of the infraglenohumeral ligament. We want to end up about here. So we're going to start with our hook here. We're going to rotate our hand back, do a little bit of a shift. We go into the capsule here. There we get a good bite of the ligament. And there we bring that through the labor. And we'll go ahead and feed that relay through. And we'll show you some more in a minute. Pause recording. Pause. Pause recording. Hold on, hold on, hold on. OK, so now we're going to pull back on the relay and you can see how it brings that suture with it. We'll pull tight on the suture and there's our first stitch. So we're going to do this as a mattress type stitch which means we have to do the same thing one more time. We'll use the same hook. We'll go ahead and take the pincher tool. And we'll pass this out the front. 
There's different types of mattress sutures. This is not, or this is going to be a, just a standard kind of mattress suture. One of the other types is called the figure of eight mattress suture, which we'll show you maybe when we do our anterior stitch. So we're going to start here. We'd like to come out right about here. We're going to go into the capsule like that. Okay. That gives us a pretty reasonable bite of capsule. And then we'll bring that underneath over here. Pause recording. Okay, and so now as we pull on the relay again, you can see how it's going to create this stitch just like that. And that gives us a nice mattress stitch. That's going to tighten the posterior band of the infraglenohumeral ligament. Pause recording. Pause recording. Okay, so now we're going to do a Revo knot, which is a non-sliding knot. Anytime we do these more complex suturing techniques, we don't want to use a sliding knot. This is a lot like tying your tennis shoes through a straw or just making these throws outside the shoulder and then passing them down using that instrument that we call a knot pusher to secure this. And then once you do about five of these half hitches, the knot's usually secure enough that we can snip the ends. So there's three. We change posts as we do this. There's a couple ways to do that by alternating tension on the suture strands. And so there's four. We'll do one more and then we'll cut it. I think you can see how this creates another little fold in the capsule and in the labrum. And it tightens up that ligament. So, and there's five. So we're going to go ahead and cut the suture tails now. Okay, and now we're going to turn our attention towards the front of the shoulder. Your move is going to be to do that. So we can see the anterior band. We'll get to work here and show you some more in a minute. Pause recording. Pause. Pause recording. Okay, so this is basically we're going to be placing an anchor right about here. It's going to allow me to tighten this anterior band of the inferior glenohumeral ligament. You can see you have a band. Sometimes we look in and there isn't one at all. You still have one, it just hasn't been sufficient. And so we're going to tighten it. So we will go ahead and take our guide and show you some more in just a minute. You can pause recording. Okay, so here's our turn to the right suture hook. You can see where we are. We're going to rotate back and get a bite right into this ligament here, like so. There we are. That's a pretty good bite of that ligament. And we're going to bring this underneath. Pause recording. Okay, so now we're going to make our second pass. This time we're going to go into the anterior capsule about here. You can see us bring that through, and then we'll come underneath. Okay, I want to get just a shade deeper than that. I think that's pretty good right about there. Pause recording. Okay, so we've got our mattress tied in the front. We've got a balanced mattress stitch tied in the back. And um, I don't think I really want to do anything else. We'll put in the shaver just to make sure there's no other debris or loose pieces of cartilage floating around. 
But now things look pretty good. So I'm optimistic that that'll do the trick for you. These, these surgeries are all about doing kind of a balanced repair, and I don't think we have to do more than what we've done here. Okay, so let me look one more time down here. That looks stable. That's right where our anchor is. That looks good. Okay, so we're going to finish up and get you back to the recovery room shortly. Good luck to you now. Bye-bye. Stop recording.